morning. We're furious this morning about the hosepipe ban and uh, what's happening there and the drought that we are in, especially when the water companies are losing hundreds of millions of gallons of water a week due to leaks. And we haven't had a reservoir since 1992. And, of course, the onus falls on you and I. Absolutely drives me up the wall. Carl, though sent us a tweet this morning. Paul Britton joins me in the studio, uh, criminal defence lawyer. And what is there a criminal defence if someone says, you're banned from using a hose pipe, and they say, well, sorry, I wanted to water my plants. Well, then he's admitted to using his hose pipe, hasn't he? There is no admitting. If you were mounting that defence, if I say came to you and said, right, I've been caught using my hose pipe, what, what, the only defence could be that I deny it. It would be that, yeah, that way it wasn't me. I didn't use my hose pipe. That, that's it? Yeah. I mean, you couldn't even plead um, ignorance. Ignorance is no defence. So you might say, I didn't know there was a hose pipe damage. What we're well, encouraging... Our Prime Minister pleaded ignorance when it came to parties in Downing Street. He said they didn't that know what? what they were happening. <laughs> and, so, and he got away with that. So could I not do... Well, he's do not the, on the show to defend himself. The, the Boris defence? <laughs> the Boris defence. Um, yeah, he was advised, wasn't he, by his advisers. So you could say, well, my neighbour didn't tell me or I wasn't advised there was a uh, hose pipe ban. But we are seeing probably nine out of ten cases where that is the situation. They didn't realise there was a hose pipe ban. So... Um, well, Carl says the veg and plants in your garden won't die because there's a hose pipe ban. You and your guests have heard of watering cans, right? Yes, I have heard of watering cans, Carl, thank you. But um, the number of trips it would take <laughs> to, to fill my forth. watering can, to go back and forth. I mean, each each pot probably takes a, a can of water, a watering can full of water, especially the big ones. And so probably 30 trips with the watering can, and that's aside from my raised beds, that's aside from my baskets. I've got nine baskets of petunias. I've got my, my, my magnolia tree. I've got my jasmine. I've got my wisteria. I mean, the, the, these are proper... And my garden, by the way, is an absolute oasis of bees and birds and everything else, and we're just going to let it all die. And you're doing your bit, aren't you? For... Well, I'd have to. I'd literally have to take two hours out of my day at least to keep filling it up. And also, I don't believe I'd end up u losing using that much less water. No, exactly. I mean, that's that's the point, isn't it? You'd use the same amount of water, but you well, you'd get a bit of exercise, wouldn't you, back and forth to your I suppose so. to your raised planters. Are you allowed to fill your watering can from your hose pipe? No, you know? it's the hose pipe is the main thing. So you could fill your your watering can from your tap back and forth, back and forth, as you said, that would be allowed. Um, but it's, it's the convenience of the hose pipe and the, the waste from that that they've well, Do you know what it's made me do as well, though, is that I'm watering my garden with the hose pipe, like, like twice a day now. Yeah. I'm doing it more because I'm thinking, well, look, if I've got to get everything absolutely watered to within an inch of its life Drenched. now. So I'm actually using more water than I would have done because of this. Before well. the... For, for, well, I don't know what area you're in, but I'm sure there's... I'm must in be... Lambeth. OK. OK, so it's one of the ones that are probably going to come in in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, so, so it, it's catch It's like the attitude I... Because I dig my heels in, and it's like the same attitude I have. I'm obsessed with low-traffic neighbourhoods and the fact that they're pushing CO2 and emissions onto... You know what a low-traffic neighbourhood is, where they closed all the roads yeah. because people are supposed to be able to walk and cycle in. OK. And they closed the roads. They did it during COVID without any kind of consultation. And then when they did do the retrospective consultations and everyone was against them, they, they still did it. Keeping them anyway. So making it completely pointless. Law unto themselves. Law yeah. themselves. So I've bought a car with higher emissions that's bigger and more comfortable. You've deliberately bought one with higher emissions? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was Christa. one of the criteria. Are you allowed to say that? Yeah. yeah. I'm, not to say I'm not allowed. Wait for the tweets to start coming in. But I did, because I thought, well, if I'm going to be sitting in traffic, I want a bigger car. Nice and comfortable. And it's comfortable. So yeah. I got rid of the car with lower emissions. And, I, and, and, and this one had... It wasn't the only criteria, but this one has higher emissions and is a bigger car because I want to sit in comfort while I'm in traffic jams that they've created. And who can blame you? Thank you. Yes. But, but Christo, it's, it's, it's going to rain next week. So is it? You're, it's hopefully your your patches well, then why will get have we got drenched. Bike band? I don't think it's going to fill the. It's not going to restore our reserves, the uh, the reservoirs to how they should be. But it's, we are going to have nice storms next week, so don't overdo your crops. Um, <laughs> all right, and uh, another one here. So, getting a drought order apparently is the holy grail for water companies. Um, it means they can force people to accept a water meter, says Cliff in Wokingham. Well, apparently, is, well, is that true? No, that's, that's, that's true? not true. And actually, you know, they are, they are told to reduce their, 
their cost because a lot of the time they charge for waste as well that goes out and if that's going to be less then your your bill should come down if you're in an area where there is a ban because arguably you're going to be using less water and a hose pipe ban shouldn't apply to those on water meters as they already um, have high incentives not to waste uh, water um, it's not really. A, it's, it's it's not about the waste of the water. I mean, look, we do all have to think about at this mo at this time, the water that we're using, just to make sure there is enough to go around. For for well, essential things, Christo, you know, it's 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 drinking water, it's cooking, it's the things that are really essential. Um, my host, <laughs> Chris in Newby, very <laughs> naughty, Chris. My hose pipe self identifies as a watering can, <laughs> which is a neatly protected very good. characteristic, so I, I'm going to be able to use it. Thank you. Very good. And um, <sighs> drought, this is a good one as well. God, you're furious about the hose pipe ban as well this morning. Thank you for all your texts on this. Um, drought causes ground shift, <sighs> which means extra pipe breaks. Um, mains have to be switched off in some cases to do the repair. This means diverting the water around the brakes so people keep supply, and this causes a delay as it needs planning. That's quite um, possible, yeah. I mean, we also have to think about where the leak starts and what side of the of the meter it's on. If it's in your garden on your side of of the of the stop valve, then it tends to be your responsibility, and you've got to pay for the repairs. Uh, and the water company might not repair it that side. So uh, just be mindful of that as well. But they, they, how stupid would that be if they didn't repair it? They would repair their side, but if yeah. it's your side, they might repair it and charge you for it. Um, what? Uh, this is a really good one here, actually, and I've had a couple of tweets about this in the last couple of weeks. Um, Hosepipe ban. What if you're disabled? I am, and I can't possibly <sighs> lug watering cans about the garden, says Bewildered of Luton. I mean, that's a really good point. I've had that message, not just from you, but from other people over the last... A couple of weeks when we've discussed this it's a good point and they do they do accept um, representations before they put these bans in so that is a representation that should be made to the water undertaker or the water authority um, that for people that are disabled then perhaps there should be an allowance you have to do it before the ban comes that's in. right and I, I mean I know that one of the restrictions I think it's the Kent and Sussex one uh, home birthing pools was a representation so that is allowed you can fill your home bathing pool with a hose you don't have to use your watering so can. if i tell the water company that I'm if you give birth you're allowed to <laughs> christo you can, you can fill your well birthing pool they might <laughs> well believe it you know so put your crops my, in a birthing pool <laughs> with my <laughs> girth at the moment they might well uh believe it thank you very much indeed uh for that um a uh, few others as well here, a few other tweets on this one. After the lies... Well, this is a harsh one. After the lies the government has spun over the last two years, I will no longer follow any diktats from the <sighs> establishment. I mean, I get it, actually. I get why you're saying that, and I get that it is just what... It's sort of a reflection of the point I was saying a while ago about us not all being in it together on any of this stuff, because, you know, whilst politicians are on private jets having climate change conferences they're deciding how our behaviors should be changed and our freedoms restricted when in actual fact they could solve many of these problems really easily themselves and very quickly but they choose not to do that mm -hmm. and i find that all really insidious i find the fact that as well that the so much of all of this is just going to end up with bigger taxes for us and higher taxes for us and higher and levies for us or green stuff and that's not how i think you solve this problem no i don't think so either <laughs> I, I, from that tweet, I just wonder if, if what is being said not to pay the fine and, you know, that is a is a dangerous thing to do because it ends up in the county court, you could end up with county court judgment, it could go to enforcement. Um, if you're on any type of welfare benefit, it can be enforced against that. So sometimes not paying or, or be, if, you can, if you can avoid committing the offence in the first place and obviously avoid committing the offence, don't just be belligerent and say, I'm going to carry on. Um, it's good advice. There we're going to leave it. Paul Britton, thank you. Thank you very for much. Your time this morning.